Good morning, everyone. I'm Marv Eisen of Timeless Dollar, and today is Thursday, March 10th. Wow, the year is going going fast, flying by, and we're almost up to daylight savings time coming up on Sunday. Starting out the day, looking at the economic calendar, there are several announcements at 8.30. It's about at 8 o'clock now, Eastern time. It's And, and these announcements relate to the uh, inflation rate, consumer price index. We can skip that because I don't have to tell you what inflation is. Moving ahead to the morning news, flags are generally in the red, except for oil, which is in the green. And I feel so happy for those oil company executives because they're all going to get their Christmas bonuses this year. And they're doing it with virtually no risk. Why? Because it costs $3 a barrel to take oil out of the ground. $3 that the market is charging $113 for at wholesale. $113 for a product that costs $3 to extract from the ground. Yes, I know, they have to refine it. <sighs> so this is how they minimize, or rather eliminate, risk. So how do you minimize risk? If you're a trader, you have to minimize risk in order to be successful. And that's why I have a free trading course that tells you how to avoid recognize rather avoid and minimize risk because if you can't minimize risk you cannot be a successful trader so let's talk about what the big boys do what the smart money does to minimize risk and i've already mentioned uh energy companies well energy is a commodity that we all need everything starts with energy whether it's plastics whether it's uh, agricultural uh, products that uh, need fertilizers that are that are a byproduct of, um, of of petrochemicals, transportation, home heating oil, factories need oil and gas to power their operations. So the energy companies minimize or practically eliminate risk by charging you a commodity that is almost as essential as air. So that's how the big boys, in fact, or I should say, the energy companies minimize risks. What's another group that minimizes risks? How about a bank when they loan you money for a mortgage? Well, if you can't pay your mortgage, what do they do? They replace the they they replace the loan. They recall their loan. No, they 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 foreclose on your house. They they take not only what you owe on your house. They take the house itself, sell it. They get their loan back, and you lose your equity. So they minimize risk. So how do you minimize risk as a trader? Well, the first thing is you have to know how to trade. And if you haven't taken a course, mine or somebody else's, you don't know how to trade. I think mine is a really terrific course. It's not expensive, so I recommend it. But take somebody else's course. But if you're trading by the seat of your pants and you think that uh, trading looks easy because you saw a chart and it looks so easy that if you only bought here and sold there, you'd make a lot of money. I'm going to tell you something if you don't know it already. The, market, the, the, the markets are not made, the trading markets rather, are not made for you to make money. They're made for the big boys to take money from you. So get smart, learn how to minimize risk, and then you have to know how to trade. Now, knowing how to trade means learning the four, and I, and I say this over and over and over, learning the four basic trades. You only need four trades. You only need to know these four trade setups in order to know how to trade successfully. And the second thing you need to know is where are we in the market cycle? So let's talk about the market cycle. I am a student of the market and I calculate the market numerically, numerically. I don't just look at it. I say, where is the market likely to go today? So look, let's look at the E-mini. And I'm going back to a chart from March 8th. Now, this chart is a classic Taylor book method pattern, and this is the sell short day. And if you've seen my videos, you know I talk about Taylor book method because it's the basic function of how you calculate, or at least how I calculate, the breadth of the market to determine where the market is going to trade tomorrow, the next day. And I send this, I call it my trading zone report, I send this trading zone report to subscribers each and every evening after the market closes to give them a sense of where the market is likely to trade the next day. The subscribers know where the market is likely to trade today. So you have to know the four trades. You have to know where we are in the trading zone. We have to know the trading zone. Either subscribe to my trading zone report or calculate it yourself. And I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Yes, I do tell you how to do it. Enroll in my trading course and I show you exactly how to calculate 
the trading zone. It's not easy. There are a lot of calculations that go into it. I do it every single day for myself and I send it as a service to subscribers. So you have to be able to minimize risk. You have to know the basic trades. You have to know how to recognize them and you have to know the trading zone and where we are in the cycle in the trading zone. M March 8th, this was the classic sell short day and this is the pattern that the sell short day looks like. And uh, in my previous video, I showed the candle, the daily candle, not the E-mini, but the daily S&P candle in the big picture, in the one day chart, to show you what that uh, sell short day looks like. So these are things you have to know. And if I'm getting into it a little too deeply for you and you don't understand what I'm talking about, please enroll in my, at least the free, my free E-mini trading course, F-R-E-E-E, -E -E, free. So there we are, learn how to recognize and minimize risks, learn where uh, the four basic trades. And I say basic because these are the only trades you need to know. Know what the trading cycle is, where we are in the trading cycle, and know the trading zone report for the day. And these are the basics that you need to do in order to be a successful trader. And that's it, it's so simple. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I, I appreciate your the time you took to watch my videos and trade safely, exercise lots and lots of patience, and I'll see you in my next video. Marv Eisen for Timeless Dollar.